Houdini is cool. It has nodes that do cool stuff. In fact, it has a lot of them. And what's even cooler than that, they have inputs, so you can plug things into. Sometimes you have one, sometimes even four inputs. But what if you need more inputs, or you need to bring in attributes from other dimensions? Be a true mastermind with expressions, and get access to any attribute from any node in any level, any time, by subscribing to this channel, and be a super duper mastermind and a supporter. In part two of the Easy series, I want to help you understand what expressions are, and how you can use them. Expressions are built in a specific syntax. First you write which type of attribute you want to access, whether it is a detail, point, prim attribute, or some other cool functions, which I'm going to cover in the next parts of that series. Directly after that you need to locate your node, of which you want to read out the attribute, and write the path of your node. It can be on the same level, or a different one. To point out on which level you are, you type in, open bracket, quotes, dot dot slash, and then the actual name of your node, and close your path with quotes. If your node is above your current level, then you need to repeat the dot dot slash. If it's on the same level you will need that just once. Next comes the point or prim number. In fact you only need to write in here if you want to access a point or prim attribute, and specify its number. Then you need the attribute in quotes, and in the end you need the element you want to access. It is always zero for floats or integers, but it could also be a vector. In that case you need to decide which element you want to read out. 0 for x, 1 for y, and 2 for z. And when you get that concept right, you have the basics for more complex ones. If you feel you need more information, don't hesitate to ask or comment. Or go directly to the Houdini site under expressions you find a ton of helpful tips. I'll put a link below in the description. Let's do a simple example. Let's say you want to move the sphere to a specific point position. There are actually better solutions for that task, but let's assume you need to do that. Go to the translate channel and write in x the following expression. It's basically the same thing we wrote seconds ago. When I turn the transform on and off you can see that it jumps to the point position in x of the add 1 node. Isn't it cool? Great. But we need the other axis too. So let's just copy and paste the expression into the other channels and change the element in the end. Perfect. We just moved the sphere to the point position. In part 2 of expressions, I'll show you more useful examples. Like how I did the sci-fi panels using the knife node and some super cool expressions. Check out the demo I did in the video above. See you next time.